Hey guys, how's everything going? This is Jay, sir. In this video, I'm going to solve another problem from BFE.dev. It's uh, uh, 92 throttle promises. Say you need to fetch some data through 100 APIs and as soon as possible. If you're using promise all, all requests go to your server at the same time, which is a burden to the low spec servers. Mm -hmm. Can you throttle your API calls so that always maximum five API calls at the same time? You're asked to create a general throttle promises which takes an array of functions returning promises and a f and a number indicating the maximum concurrent pending promises so this is the uh, throttle promises let's call apis say five maximum five api calls at a time and then uh, we have the data the data should be the same as promise all and any error occurs in the AP call apis will be related here by running the above code at any time, no more than five APIs are requested, so low spec servers are saved. Wow, this is pretty useful, right? Uh, not in a real production service, I would say. Um, yeah, in a real service, we should uh, scale up our servers to handle the large amount of requests. But for internal tools like the, uh, you you might have some. Uh, rusty code that uh, uh, fetch the da database and do some complex logic well and it doesn't matter be about the performance because only a few people use them then a promise uh, throttle the promises would be a nice approach to lower the burden I would say okay let's begin so the idea core idea of this problem is that uh, the promise all would initialize initially initiate the request right away we need to delay them right by counting the apis so we keep uh keep track of the uh, concurrent api calls and when it reaches the maximum we stop and when one of them is done we try to trigger the next one right so um i would say we use uh can I will say uh, concurrent count with default to zero, and then to hold the the account, and we need also to keep track of the result, right? So that we say the result is an empty array, and then we need to uh, we just uh, do we recursively call the APIs. We we uh, we fetch one API and increment the concurrent count. If it is not reaching the maximum we fetch another API, right? So we will do this recursively until we reach the maximum. And uh, when one of the API is done, we would uh, we, uh, we would uh, uh, do this uh, process again. So we need to extract that process, which should be, I think it should be uh, fetch API, API, fetch next, API, fetch next. Okay, this is a function. We need to fetch next, so we don't know the ne what the next is. So I need to uh, track the function index current. Okay, latest called function index. Default to negative one because we haven't triggered anything yet. And in this function, fetch next, what we do? Um, okay, we just uh, wait a minute. So uh, we trigger the function. Of course, first we need to get the function. Get the function. Uh, trigger it. Update the count. If OK for next move, next fetch, trigger next. All right? Yeah, so we get the function. So next function, next. Oh, last called if. If, OK. Um, it should be funks plus one, right? If next, which means the end, return. Or we can make it 
simpler say plus equals uh, funks.nth negative one return. We will put at the beginning. This is the already done. Oh, okay. Next, we get the function. We would okay. This function actually returned a promise, so we trigger it, which means the function. Okay, the next trigger it, and then the data, right? The data. Uh, the data. This is the error. What do we do when it is when we fetch the done fetching the data, we set it to the result, right? So result. Uh, the index. This is the index. Okay. Okay. I'll create a variable for this. Uh, next func index is this one. So we set the result to data. Also, when we trigger it, we need to increment the concurrent count, right? Plus one. Okay. So if uh, we need to uh, check if we can trigger the uh, trigger the next function, so we ch use is this if uh, if concurrent count if it is already um, I would say if smaller than th than the maximum what it is the max right if it's smaller than it we should stop when it when it reaches the max so if it's smaller than it we could do what we could call this function again so fetch next if not we do nothing right we do nothing, yeah. And then uh, the error when we error occurs, we need to throw reject this error and uh, pass it to the last promise. So we would actually we would return a new promise, new promise. Wrap all this logic up. Resolve reject. Okay, actually, I'm in a car and uh, it's rain. It's raining outside. Um, okay. This is a new promise, and we just reject the error. Reject the error. So this is the basic logic, but we ha still have a lot of things to do. The first, we need to uh, trigger the fetch next, right? Trigger it. Okay, and then we need to resolve the data and stop triggering next when, when the error happens, right? So how should we do that? First, for the to resolve, it means uh, the last promise. When the last promise is resolved, we need to uh, gather the data and then return. So we need to do the here. Okay, if and we could check the result, right? We check the result array by nth, but actually it might be a sparse array. It means the last uh, promise might return a result faster than the previous one, right? So it's not safe to use nth. Actually, we need to count uh, the uh, results count. Zero. We need to track the count actually. We set the data, we increment the count, and this if this the count equals the funks the nth, we need to just resolve the result and just return. And it's done. This for resolve is done. And uh, if an error is hap happening, we should uh, not call the fetch next, right? But this information is still need to be tracked. Say, is uh, has error? False. Okay, we reject the error. 
and we okay we set the uh, has error equals uh, true and uh, we stop call, disable this fetch next in a possible future call from here concurrent next and fetch next right we could do the f here but it, because it's only called here but for better I would say uh, let's do it here For the resolved case, oh, this should be resolved. For the resolved case, when it is resolved, it means this will be true. There will be no more functions to be called, so it's no problem. Let's take a look. I'm guessing I'm uh, before I submit the code. Allow me to check my code once again, just like a real interview. Okay, we return a new promise. We keep track of all the data in the result and also the flags. Okay, we we uh, have this function fetch next. What did it would do? If this error or no function to be called, we return. And also we get the next index, right? Yeah, we get the next index, and to get the function. Oh, we forgot to update the native is called function index. And then we call the next function. Oh, we have we have made a mistake. We actually triggered an fetch next in the uh, callback of this promise, but it's not. It should not be like this. Actually, I would say when we call it, we should just uh, doing it uh, concurrently. Okay, we call the function, and uh, if the data is it's got if we have a result we update the data and update the result count and if reaches the account the, the functions we res resolved the final res the array if an error happens we set the flag and reject right and and, and it should be done and uh, if the concurrent count it doesn't meet reach the max we fetch the next yeah, so if there are, are 10 apis API functions, this fetch actually will call, trick called and then cut cut it again, cut it again until there are uh, five, I would say, five functions calls. When it is done, oh, when it is done, we forgot to decrement the concurrent count, right? Okay, when it is done, uh, okay decremented it and uh, we actually need to uh, fetch next I would say here also fetch next concurrent count negative one if it is we resolve if not we would trigger next one right concurrent okay do we need to decrement one in the error mm, no because uh, because whenever happens we should not trigger any uh, new functions. Okay, I think you should work. Uh, what's happening? Time out. Hmm. What's the sync from? Let's copy the code. Okay, a sync function factory. Let's, uh, console log results. Mm -hmm. There's some problems. Run the code. No? Ooh. What's the problem? Mm. Result count increments, result count equals nth. No. 
Okay, uh, wait a minute. I'll log something. Fetch. Fetch. Next. It's caught once. Okay. So lock concurrent count and max. Hmm? There might there's some error here. Can I out? No. What? Uh here it's returned? No, it's not returned. Hmm? Oh, one, two, five, three, four. But oh, it seems that there are um uh, a funk. There's no funk, right? It's funks. Okay, there's a typo here. Not good. So we found a typo. Oh, looks good, I would say. Submit. Great. So this is it. I posted um, recursive recursion, right? Okay. So this is it. I posted it on the discuss panel. Hope it helps. See you next time. Bye-bye.